I'm Mark Beavis. Thank you for logging on to Hockey TV. We're here at Cox Smallwoods Leisure Centre in Birmingham for the Super Sixes National Indoor Championship. This is the Division 1 game between Barford Tigers and Brooklyn. Both teams have already won today, so let's see who gets the better in this one. Here's the action. And a penalty corner. Singh driving down the right-hand side wins it for Tigers. Out, stopped. Ravinder Sandri moves it left. And Tigers are 1-0 up. Verdi scoring the goal there. The penalty corner moved to the left. And Verdi slotting it high into the goal. Exchanging passes with Parvinder Sandu as they sort of push back. Richardson's pushing back there. And now Brooklyn's got it back. This is Bateman. Great save keeper. That's Mark Wilson there. In goal. And Bateman makes it one all. It looked like Barford had that ball under control, but suddenly it broke. Brooklyn's had it, and Bateman finishes off the move there. Peter Flanagan's got the ball. He's got Dart up ahead of him. He's had his stick taken off him. Was that Note that took his stick off him? Well, not far enough. And Jesmate Note gives away a penalty corner. And Mark and Matt Harrison now reaching into his pocket. He's given a green card. Bateman, friend. Flanagan! It's 2-1. Brooklyn's were 1-0 down. They draw level and now they go 2-1 up. And David Flanagan couldn't quite get round. And there's all sorts going on there. And Champner says that's a penalty corner to Tigers. Ravinder Sandu, as easy as you like, waits for the keeper to go down, lifts it over him, halfway up the goal, it's 2 all here at Coxmoor Woods. Tigers 2, Brooklyn's 2. Cutting that off, and you've got three Brooklyn's players around there, they just let it go off, and uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is half-time, it's 2 uh, all. So Bateman has the ball. Rolls it back to Peter Flanagan, to McCollum. The man puts pressure on, and so does. <coughs> oh, great tackle there. And Barford are through. Great save, McCollum. Dart's going to stop it. Peter Flanagan on the top. Send it to McCollum. McCollum can't make contact with it. And Champness gives a penalty flick. Flanagan scores. It's 3-2 to Brooklyn's there. Into the lead at the start of this second half. Sandu to Singh, Singh to Sandu. Round the back, too short, angle wrong. Flanagan, Richardson, goal! The ball bubbled over Wilson, and that was a mistake in the Tigers' defence there and gifted Brooklyn's a fourth goal. The score goes to 4-2 with 16 minutes left in this game. Seddon coming forward, but lose the ball. Verdi here's Mann. Oh, it's in the post. Man had a great time, but Verdi still got opportunity, and Verdi puts it away after the ball hit the post from man shot. Verdi picked the ball up, he spun on it, reverse flick, and pulls one back for Tigers. It's 4-3, and what a game we've got here. We've got just left the, less than a quarter of an hour to go. Verdi, Sandu, Sandu. It's hit a post, and it's come out. It's going to be another penalty corner. Sandu's going to stop. Arjinda to Verdi. Verdi scores. And it's all level here again at Coxmoor Woods. It's 4 all. Bar for Tigers right back in this one. And we've still got 12 minutes to go. This game could go either way. A well-worked poundy corner routine. Finished off well by Verdi. Good forceful push. It. Flanagan scores. It's 5-4 and this match is swinging backwards and forwards and Barford find themselves behind once more. We're off again. Edmonds has it. What's he got? He's got Peter Flanagan. Peter Flanagan steps into half. Ball to Sidden. And that's a six goal for Brooklyn as they call a timeout with four minutes, 28 to go. So time is running out. There goes the buzzer. David Flanagan's going to inject this. Friend's going to stop it. Seddon's at the top. Seddon scores. He finishes off a fine 7-4 victory 
for Brooklands. Brooklyn seven, Barford Tigers four. Peter, that was a tough match for you and the boys, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, Barford Tigers got a long tradition of being a good indoor side, you know, played in Premier League for years, renowned for their individual stick skills. And, you know, it's something, you know, the, these boys are the top end skills. And it's something we really um, put a lot of emphasis in our team, so that we need to combat that sort of tactic and uh, use our own skill and our own ability to move the ball fast, um, to create space for ourselves. And, and that's, that's what we did well today, I thought, yeah. How are you personally feeling? Because you seem to be on the court the entire game. Uh, yeah, a bit sad at the moment, yeah. Um, enjoying playing. Um, we're playing well, uh, enjoying scoring goals. And uh, we've got a good set of lads. We've come through the um, playoff last year, worked our way through uh, the two divisions. So we're really glad to be here and want to push on further. So it's um, looking good for us at the moment in time, yeah. Looking forward to the next weekend's um, four matches. So that was Peter Flanagan talking to me just a few moments ago about his team's fantastic 7-4 victory over Barford Tigers. Anyway, from all of us here in Birmingham, thanks for watching Hockey TV. It's goodbye.